Welcome to this video lesson. Tabbed widget on the sidebar is a great space saver for any blog. It gives you opportunity to store more items on the sidebar. In this video, I will explain how to create a unique tab widget for your blog using the WordPress plugin jQuery Tabber Widget. jQuery Tabber Widget enjoys a healthy 5 star rating and it allows you to add three tabs for recent posts, popular posts, and random posts. To show popular posts, you need to install yet another plugin called WordPress Popular Posts. In this video, I am going to show you how you can discard mm -hmm. one tab and add completely different items in one of the two other tabs. You will also know how to change the styles of the different elements in the tabber widget. So let's begin. To install the plugin, I go to the Add Plugins page from the dashboard menu. Here I will search for the plugin. So I put the plugin name and click the search button. In these results, the jQuery tabber widget comes at the top. I already have the plugin installed and activated. If not, a link install now will come, which has to be clicked and then activated to use the plugin. To make use of the plugin, let me go to the widgets page from Appearance. The plugin Tabber widget appears in the available widgets area on the left. From here, I have to drag the widget onto the sidebar. This I have done already. So the widget appears in the primary sidebar of my blog. If I open the widget, it says there are no options for this widget. But we can still make changes in the widget and we will see how to do that shortly. The tabbed widget, when it is first installed, will look like this. There are three tabs for recent posts, popular posts and random posts. The popular posts tab has no items because if you remember it needs the WordPress popular posts plugin to actually work. Let's now make changes to make the tab exactly as we want. To do it, let me first go to the dashboard and from here I click on editor under plugins to go to the Edit Plugins page. Now to the top right, in this drop-down of all plugins in my blog, let me choose jQuery Tabber Plugin and then click the button Select. As you see, all the files under the plugin open. There are four files, but we are concerned with the PHP and the CSS files. The important changes are to be made in the PHP file. Let me open the file separately in a notepad. The first big change will be in this code snippet that defines the respective tab headings. The next change will be in the tab contents for the second tab, tab 2. I have already made these changes in the PHP file of my blog, as you can see here. The first tab heading is Recent Posts, and the tab 2 heading is Free Guides. As for tab 3, I have put in a specific style, Display None, which means the third tab will not be seen in the widget on the sidebar. The next change is for the tab 2 contents. Instead of the PHP code for popular posts that was there originally, 
I have now included a simple list of the free guides I am giving away to the subscribers. This is not a dynamic list, but that's alright for me. Next, let's go to the CSS code. I have made many changes here in the style of the tabs like link and background colors, font size, borders and more. Don't forget, after each change you make in the files here, you must click the update file button to save those changes. There are other tabber widgets available, like for example WP tabber widget, but each has its own flavor and purpose. So don't hesitate to explore the other tab widgets before you decide the ideal one for your need. This completes the video lesson. Thanks for watching.